Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Allison and welcome to my home. I live in a very small cabin in the woods. It's about 800 square feet, probably a bit less. The actual perimeter of it is about 400 square feet, but we do have lofts, so that has added a little bit more um, living space for us. I live here with my husband and my four kids. We also have two dogs that stay inside full time now that it is cold outside. So we fit pretty snug in here. Um, we just got our first snow of the year and I thought this would be a really good time to talk about how we're planning on heating our really small, not very well insulated hunting cabin for the entire winter. We live in the northeast of the United States, so it gets pretty cold. Currently in November, it's about, I think, well, the temperature right now is 34 degrees. So it's not too bad, but we're definitely starting to feel it. And especially in a cabin that has very little insulation, this cabin was built for hunting and summer camping for the person's family before us. And I don't think they were thinking like they need to really do too crazy of insulation because they're not going to be using it very often. It was just going to be like their weekend camp for the winter. That was sufficient for them. It has made it a little bit harder for us because we are staying here full time now. We had a carpenter help us build the kids' rooms and when he was installing the windows, he actually was making jokes about how the windows in this building are the most insulated part of the entire building. So yeah, we are, um, we do get cold a little bit. Um, we heat full time with wood. That is our primary heat source. We have a Nectar 350 and this is actually a wood cook stove. So I was really picky about what kind of wood stove we were going to get. I really wanted a cook stove. I didn't really want this model. It wasn't my first choice for a cook stove, but with such a small space, there was no way we were gonna have a cook stove and a wood stove. So I had to really meet somewhere in the middle with my husband wanting a really good wood stove and then me wanting a really good cook stove. So we settled on the Nectar 350 and we absolutely love it so far. Now we haven't hit those really negative temperatures yet, the really cold temps in the middle of the night and all of that. So I might have to do an update video, you know, maybe in January and February. But for now, it's actually working pretty well. Unfortunately though, it has a very small firebox. There is a larger model. We didn't go with that because it's about $3,000 more to get that larger model, which would have held like the 16 inch logs. This only holds 13 inch logs. So we were actually fortunate enough to get a lot of wood from the previous um, owner. He left behind a bunch of it, but those were 16 inch logs. So currently we had to cut those in half and we use little miniature logs, I'll show you. So just for example, right now, we're just working through that wood that he gave us and this is how big the wood pieces are. And it's kind of funny, they're so cute. But we put about like six to eight of these in and that'll hold us over for about three hours. Um, other than that, my husband processes all the other firewood that we'll be using for, you know, in the future. Um, he does it all from our own land, all from our own trees, and we have, I don't know how much, I probably have to ask him, but we have, he assures me that we have enough for the winter. So this will be our primary heat source, but I do have concerns. So the first concern is that our cabin is built on piers, so it's elevated off of the ground about two feet. And we lose so much heat through the floor. Like right now, the floor, it's cold. So that's a problem for us because obviously we're trying to hold as much heat in as possible. So something that we're trying to work on and really I'm doing and it's, <laughs> we'll see when it gets done, but we're laying sandbags on the outside of our cabin um, to block that off um, with minimal um, ventilation, I guess you would say, to try to retain that heat. So for instance, last year when we were using this cabin as just a camp for us, we had a snowfall of about two feet and I can't even explain the difference. The cabin floor was so nice. It was so warm. You didn't need your slippers. You didn't even really need socks. It had the heat just right. And that was just because it had insulated that bottom of the cabin. So I'm really trying to work through getting that insulated and filling those sandbags, but it is a, it is a lot of work and it's really hard. I have two kids at home all the time. I have four kids total, but I have two that don't go to school. 
So trying to balance that time, kind of difficult. So we'll see where we are. But once that is done, or if a snowfall beats me to it, we'll start retaining heat a lot better. Now, something else I really was never considering or planning to do, but I am considering it now is putting small space heaters in my kids' rooms. So my kids sleep downstairs in their own rooms and at night we leave their doors wide open, but my boys' room in particular does not heat well. The way it is shaped, it, it looks like an igloo from a dog's house. I'll show you. So essentially my kids, my boys' room is you go through this hall, hall, and then you go in through this door and then their room is right here. So it's actually the shape of a dog outside igloo. So because their room has that like outdoor igloo shape from like a, one of those dog igloo houses, it really prevents like the heat getting through there. Now above their room, there is an open space. So like their walls have open spaces at the very top of their ceiling so that the heat can try to go through that and into their room. But it, it, it works okay, it's not, it's not great. Unfortunately, my, my little boys, they do end up getting cold at night and we're only getting into like the high 20s right now. So I'm a little nervous about when we're getting into the negative temperatures. And I have a baby. He can't cover himself back up. He, he just cries. So even when we stoke the fire, which we do stoke the fire two or three times, well, one or two times a night right now, um, he still is waking up a bit cold and that's even putting him in really warm pajamas and everything like that. So my girl's room isn't so bad. Theirs is just basically a door right over here and it's, it's easy and the air can get right through there. Their room always feels really good. It's actually right behind the wood stove too. So they have that also going for them. But yeah, I'm really concerned about my boys' room. I want them to be comfortable. And my husband actually just made a really great point yesterday because I said I was kind of like conserving our wood. Like how much wood can I use throughout the day? I kind of felt guilty for using so much wood yesterday. And he was like, we're not surviving here. We're, we can live comfortable here. That's, that's the point. We can survive here if we need to, but we don't need to survive here right now. Like we can use our wood, go ahead, put wood in the wood stove, keep it warm. And so that kind of is giving me an encouragement, I guess, to maybe just go and get, uh, you know, some space heaters for the kids that we can just put, put that on maybe in the middle of the night when I'm stoking the fire once and turn off maybe the next time I go to stoke the fire again, just so that I know that they're comfortable. So if, you know, if anybody wakes up crying, I can be rest assured that it's not because they're cold. So yeah, that's kind of our plan right now is to heat 100% with wood and I'm not against getting a space heater, but I'm also not ready to make that purchase. So I'm not sure yet. Well, we're gonna have to just test it out for a little bit longer. But yeah, so far so good. I mean, in the morning it's pretty cold and everybody's bundled up with their blankets or wearing really thick coats or whatever. And it's okay though, we're doing good. And I'm, I don't know, I'm excited to use a wood stove all year long and I love cooking on it. I love baking in it and it, it's really doing a good job for us so far. If you guys have any suggestions for us, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video and thank you so much for watching.